forestry, agriculture, all converge within this community. And although we're only 7,000 people, we actually serve a population of closer to 30,000. We looked at a need in this community when, when we lost our OSP plant, losing approximately 500 jobs in a community our size. So uh, it's important that as we develop that we have a diversification strategy. We talked about what is it that's important to us, what's the type of community we live in, and how can we include sustainability measures into that environment. All the capital projects we do, we see what what can we do for sustainability. There's a huge demand on water in the oil industry and we've been able to divert our uh, sewage wastewater and take an effluent and using that. This water plant we are doing, uh, it is going to be uh, following all the lead standards. Part of our great initiatives as well is the biomile, creating that bi industrial integrated bio-industrial park, whether it be residual wood waste, treated sewer water, products in the oil industry. We find a way to take that, that waste, convert it into something useful, and that becomes the input for something else. Basically anything that you can buy that is made from a petroleum base can also be made through this, uh, through uh, a fiber base as well. This is an exciting industry. It's great for this community. There's so many benefits with it. Our sustainability plan addressed a, a number of different areas and of course it deals with the health, it deals with environment, it deals with um, our arts, our culture. It deals with the social environment and we also made sure it included youth as, a, as an additional element. It's important to create that balance of, of planning to deal with not only the economy but the people within it so that we have uh, a you know, truly uh, comprehensive vision for the community. Everything from the Melbourne principles and the natural step, FCM or looking at AOMA, looking at some of the other regions within it, the province of Alberta, all helped us with identifying, okay, what does our sustainability plan need to be but now let's make sure we give it our own touch. They had gone out of their way to make sure there was community members representing all different age groups as well as all different types of areas of interest. Probably one of the biggest things that came out of the plan was that there's already a lot of people who are striving towards the same thing, they just need to be coordinated on a different level. One really solid example was the initiative to make uh, for youth inclusion. That group for sure is deliberately working towards the sustainability plan. When I first thought about running for council, it was because I wanted to have an impact on the community I was raising my children in. The students and the education we've been able to put in the schools and then the ripple effect out to the parents has been the biggest tool we have. A lot of the funding that municipalities get, of course, comes in large part from federal and provincial governments. So if it's a priority to them, we need to make sure as we develop our plan and the projects that we do, uh, we think about them from an from a area of sustainability and, uh, and approach the governments that way. We've had discussions throughout the globe and people are looking at Drayton Valley saying you have a renewable resource and there's new technologies coming to take advantage of that to create products for our future generations. Mm -hmm.